Aloha, this is Defense Team News. I'm Shelly Van Hoop. And I'm Lieutenant Jeff Lura. We're here on location at Pearl Harbor for Exercise Rim of the Pacific, also known as RIMPAC. Here are the headlines at Defense. This year, over a thousand Canadian sailors, soldiers, and aviators are participating with 24 other nations in RIMPAC, the world's largest international maritime exercise. Taking place until August 2nd in and around the Hawaiian Islands in Southern California, RIMPAC allows the CAF and partner nations to exercise a wide range of capabilities, from disaster relief to maritime security operations and complex warfighting. Canada, along with Australia and the United States, has participated in every RIMPAC exercise since its inception in 1971. The continued participation of the CAF reinforces Canada's commitment to enhancing partnerships and security in the Asia-Pacific region. The 24 other nations present in Hawaii and Southern California for RIMPAC join Canadians in celebrating our national holiday on July the 1st. In downtown Waikiki, staff of the hotel, which houses Canadian personnel and offices, presented a custom-made Canada Day cake to Canadian Armed Forces personnel. At Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, guests from all participating nations were invited to a reception on board HMCS Ottawa, which featured traditional Canadian food and beverages, and speeches by Canadian Consul General Rana Sarkar and Rear Admiral Bob Octorloni, Commander of Maritime Forces Pacific and RIMPAC Deputy Commander. Coalition partners also produced a short video in which various participating nations expressed their warm Canada Day wishes. Yeah.